Hey, today I want to make a little tech tip video for everyone out there that has a Z30 and either an M200 or an M210. Um, as you know, uh, if you have one, one of the big challenges is uh, it works really good. The Z30 is awesome. It zooms in. But once you're zoomed in, trying to control that camera is, is crazy. If you just touch the, the either the gimbal tilt or pan wheels, uh, it just it, it jumps to the other side of the build. If you're looking at a building, it'll jump from one side to the other. It's very hard to control well. But there's a fix for that, uh, or, or I should say a workaround uh, by some adjustments, and I want to show you that today. Now, before I get started, I want to send out a big thank you to Ken Booth with DJI. Um, he's the one that showed me how to do this. And uh, anyway, uh, let's get started on this. So number, number one, the very first thing that you'll do is you'll mount your Z30 into gimbal slot one. Um, if you were sitting on the aircraft, it'd be on the left, but there it's actually labeled. Let me, let me show you that label. So you see how you have number one and number two, just in case you've never seen that before. Uh, so we're going to, you're going to mount the Z30 on gimbal slot one. That's important. It's important for the settings to, to be saved into the camera. Now, once you have it mounted into there, power the camera or power the aircraft on and the controller on. And then we'll come over here to the controller. All right, let's get this in front of us here. All right. Now, once you once the aircraft's powered on, the controller is powered on, and your ascendance is powered on, or I'm sorry, Crystal Sky is powered on, and your ascendance. Um, then what you're going to want to do is normally we use the Pilot app. Um, in this case, and this is very important. In this case, you're going to use the DJI Go 4 app. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click on that. comes up you can always do that ignore we aren't worried about that right now for this okay so I'm gonna click the go fly okay all right so um, oh, let's see if we can there's my bulldog um, anyway so what we'll do is we'll move it over here and what we're going to do is number step number one is you're going to take and click on these three dots up in the corner here okay and the very first thing that you're going to look at is see this setting that says zoom view stabilization okay that needs to be off turn that off because that can do all kinds of crazy stuff with the Z30 okay uh, then the very next step is see the gimbal control button icon down here right there you're gonna click on that looks like kind of looks like a camera all right then once you once you click on that it'll bring up this menu okay and there's one that says gimbal uh, camera gimbaled advanced settings you're gonna click on that okay and then now it brings up a bunch of settings you may you might think oh man what is all this you don't need to know all you need to do is click on reset all settings and then click OK to acknowledge and then it'll reset everything now once you have that done uh, watch this I'll take and I will zoom in just say on these bricks over here All right, now normally zoomed in at that level, it would if I if I move the wheel, it would jump all over the place. In this case, watch me move this thing nice and smooth. And I can zoom in more, you know, if we want to get in there and look at the actual grout. And I can still it so it scales the the movement scales with your zoom, which is exactly what we want. All right, 
And this, now one of the important things to know, if you put that on gimbal slot one like you were supposed to, it's saved to the camera, so it doesn't matter what gimbal slot you put it on or what app. Now, what, what I like to do just to do a quick check on it is, sometimes this happens quickly, sometimes we have to kind of reset the system, is I want to bring up the pilot app now. It doesn't like to switch between the two. I'm going to choose pilot. Okay, and it did pick it up. So I'm going to Okay, now Now, if you notice, if we take and we zoom in on the same brick, so we're in the pilot app now. And you'll notice that it does the same nice smooth movements up and down this way. You can really get in there. So this will help you out a lot, especially if you're trying to use the zoom camera for uh, any kind of emergency operations or anything like that. It'll, it'll help you out a lot or inspections. So anyway. And again, it doesn't matter what gimbal slot you put it on. After that, you do not have to keep it on gimbal slot one. You can move it to gimbal slot two and put your XT2 in gimbal slot one or whatever. Those, those settings are saved uh, on the camera themselves. So anyway, hope this helped out uh, and talk to you later.